it's Nona and today I'm here with another DIY this is a little decor project that I <laughs> decided to make um, so first off I purchased three of these mason jars from Walmart and they came with these lids and I took the lids off and then at uh, Dollar Tree I had purchased three of these. They're called Hanging Lid. And this is a picture. And this one has a star cut out. And I wanted to show them to you in the package. Um, so this is what the lid looks like. And I wanted these because you can hang them. So when you screw them on the jar, you can hang the jar. So that's why I got those. And I did get three of them. So I'm going to go ahead and open them. Okay, so they're all the same. Then I bought this sand. It's called Decorative Accents. I got this at Dollar Tree as well. They have it in all different colors. I got this bright green because my bedroom uh, decor is black, white, gray, and bright green just a few pops so I'm gonna cut this open I just wanted y'all to see what the label looks like before I cut it off and my plan is to put some of this sand in these jars I don't know how much I want in each one so I'm just gonna start with about that much and fill them all up about the same so I can keep it even. I am definitely not a DIY channel. So I filled this one a little more because I know I'm going to have some left. So I'm just going to try to level these off to match it. Okay, so now I have sand in all three of them. Similar level. <laughs> and then I bought three succulents from Dollar Tree. And they came in these little pots with this foam. And I pulled the picks out. And these are all three different. This one has like a metal pick. It was straight and I bent it over because I couldn't get it off. Uh, I'm hoping the sand will hide it and then this one is the one that came out of here and this the stem is actually glued into the styrofoam so when I pulled it just pulled the the flower the floral part off and then this one it had a long plastic pick that came out of the styrofoam and I cut it off with the scissors so all three were different but anyways these are what they come like they come in these little and I took off the top part and I'm discarding these. So my plan is to stick these, smoosh these down in these jars. So I'm just gonna make it fit. <laughs> and then that's what it looks like. I like it. Okay, so let's do this one with the little stick thing and see if it'll hide down in the sand. See, I'm just pushing them in, and then I'm going to just try to hide that down in the sand. Yeah, that worked. And there's the red one. And then here's the last one. This one's a little wider, so, but they just fit right in when you smush them down in there. And then they open back up inside the jar. So, that's what that one looks like. Okay, now I'm going to put the lids on. And see now this can hang. Ooh, I think it's so cute. I'm so excited. <laughs> Number two, and then the last one. Okay, now how I'm gonna hang them is I want them to be varying lengths. So I bought this 
the mainstays replacement chain with large hook for hanging baskets. I got this at Walmart and it was like under $3. And it's 22, three 22 inch chains and they are attached to this big hook because it's supposed to hang one hanging basket. So what I did was I took all the, the chains off of this hook. So now I have three chains that are each this length, two feet, almost two feet, and they have this little hook on them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook this little hook on here and that'll be what hangs them. And then it's got loops at the end. So what I bought for that is these. These were like a dollar forty-eight, I think. They're the cup hooks, and I got them at Walmart. They're by Hillman, and I got three of them. And I'm gonna screw these into the ceiling, and then I'm gonna hang the chain, one of the loops of the chain, off of that. So they will hang in essence like this, with this chain. And I'm gonna cut the chain down, and so it'll hang in three varying lengths. They won't all be the same length. I'm gonna cut the chains down shorter for a couple of them. Um, I'll try to take a picture after I get them hung um, and put it on um, Instagram. Anyways, that's my idea. So if you uh, <laughs> want to do something similar, I thought this was just one 22-inch uh, chain, but there's three. So you really only need one of these. So, but I'm going to keep that back in my stash for you know future craftiness. But anyway, so you get three chains when you get that. So anyways, yeah, three to 22 inch chains. So in essence, it cost me three, four, 50, five, six, seven, eight. It cost me about $15 to make all three of these and get the hardware to hang them. So anyways, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> So I thought I would share that with y'all. I've had some people ask me to share more uh, Dollar Tree DIYs. And uh, so I thought I would share this one. Anyways, if you like these types of videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Love to all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.